Okay. So this is just a fun, like, running on water level. That, they had to at least have one of these. I know there's another similar one in Adabat, which makes sense because that's the other uh, area in the game that has a, like, a bunch of water running sections. Oh, oh geez, so fast. <laughs> The game is the game is struggling like a lot. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, easy now. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just kinda following the arrows. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. This is like PowerPoint. Oh, dude. Is this like the start? What? Oh, it's a checkpoint. I guess. Okay, we'll just keep going. I'm gonna get a terrible rank. <laughs> okay, land on this and then. Oh, I missed. Damn it. I think it said four laps, so I think this should be the last lap. Oh, no. As long as I just finish it. <laughs> I have no idea what any of the anything is. Okay, that that stage would have worked, would have been a lot more fun with a, a higher frame rate. <laughs> like that was that was PowerPoint worthy. Okay, now it's night time. Okay, it's only two stages. Okay, what do you got for me? They've already done, like, the whole go going backwards through the stage thing in a mission, I think. So, um, I wonder what this is going to be. Oh, actually, no, I think I know. Um, because I remember talking about how a, a stage, like, a DLC expands beyond the end of the of the first of the first night level yeah because we're yeah yeah this is this is quite literally one dash two because we we're at the end of act one and now we're just continuing continuing off from the end point and this is really cool i love this like From what I remember, the level design in this stage is really good. Like the platforming and everything. Like, you'll see it in a minute. And I'll, again, I just love that it's a continuation of the main level. It's really good stuff. So just grab all these. We okay. Let's just go up here, and there's a lower path there. So this kind of reminds me of dropping down. What was it one of the areas in the Wii version where, like, you could either go up to the top, or you could drop down and fight some enemies. Man, these wizards, wizards got to make everything awkward, don't they? Okay. 
Okay, I thought that was... Uh... Oh, this is a thing. Is there anything here? Some XP. Not much else. That probably would be where a medal would be if this was an actual stage. Or, not an actual stage, but like, a regular stage. Oh my god, this frame. What is happening here? <laughs> I feel like my PS3 is about to blow up. Oh my god. Are you okay though? I would definitely say that the day stages are the harder ones overall. Um, these are definitely the hardest night stages in the game, but I feel I feel like that that's more down to the design philosophy rather than like one is like being prioritized as inherently being easier than the other. Well, that's a weird way of saying it. Um, I feel okay. I feel like the day stages are harder for the DLC pri primarily for the fact that the modern Sonic design, like the boost design is just inherently built for more reactionary gameplay. That's like, wh when you already have the regular day stages being really, like, difficult by Sonic standards and, like, fairly trial and error, when you, um, like, boost it up to, like, 11, you're gonna have some really hard stages, which is, well, we've seen them so far, and they, they can get ridiculous. And... Well, the Werehog is, like, these are still, these can still be pretty challenging levels in their own right. Um, slower platforming with combat, like, that in that inherently just isn't as difficult, no matter, like, how you do it, how you, like, design it, I feel. Well, may maybe not entirely, but more so with this game. Like, I know com you can get really difficult combat, because, uh, um... DMC exists and whatnot, but rather just, I, I guess, in the confines of this game specifically, um, I feel like the modern Sonic stuff is just inherent, just always going to be inherently more difficult, unless you make like a level with like ten thousand enemies. But at that point, that's not challenge. That's just being stupid. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is there are ways to make the night levels as difficult as the day ones, but I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, camera! What are you doing? Get destroyed! Owned. Okay. So get all this. This is, this is a bit pointless. You could you could just open the door and I kill the boss or the or the bosses rather. But hey, that's fine. Okay, what do we have? Oh, hey. Okay, that's kind of a cool entrance. Oh, this is an interesting camera view. We don't usually fight these guys like this. It's usually like the camera's usually more zoomed out than this. Interesting. I assume this is the end. I could have sworn- Maybe it's the uh, next level that I'm thinking of, because I remember there being a lot more platforming. I still stand by the fact that I love how it extends beyond the first, like, night stage though. That is really cool. Boom. 
smack to the butt. Yeah, that's the end. Okay. Yeah, this it, it's definitely it's definitely the next stage I'm thinking of, thinking of then. Nice. Act three, here we come. Oh yeah, I also yeah, the Act Two stage here was also really good. I remember that. Uh, yeah, this is the stage I was thinking of. There's like a lot more platforming in this one. Okay. I just wish that these were like normal stages with like m like collectibles and stuff because I would love to be able to actually have these stages be like expanded with like things to find in them. Like, beyond what's already there. That would be great. But, you know. I guess if there's uh, one thing I will say about the world that could be, ex like, not fixed, but improved upon, is, um... Ob well, obviously, the, the whole... There's the whole, like thing with the 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 battle theme and all that but the main thing I, I was going to touch touch upon is um what should we call it one second brain fart <laughs> oh no I was going to mention how they they could make it make it so you can shield you can shield a Combos faster, and you can like start a new combo. F like, j just do that, m make that stuff faster because you can shield. I can shield and like do that, but there is a little bit of wind up. Well, not maybe not wind up, but it's like I can't immediately like do a combo. Like, it's fairly quick, but it's still not immediate. And I don't. I, I feel like if it was just a little bit faster, it would be a lot more fun to experiment with, with uh, werehog combos. So that that would be a nice change. Talking about change. Wait, what? Okay, I'm gonna restart. I'm talking about change to a 2008 game, like it's gonna get an update. <laughs> I mean, if it ever comes to PC, um, fans are always welcome to update it or like give it give it some some nice like mod support and whatnot. Because you know you already have stuff like better SADX and whatnot. So. Oh, dude. I almost... Flirted... <laughs> almost flirted with death right there. Okay. I kind of don't want you to, um... Do the game... Like, have that camera... Camera change game when... There's enemies right here trying to kill me. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Ugh. Okay, let's do this properly this time. 
Wait. Okay, I had to go up there. Okay, I see. I see you now. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know where I was going. All right. I wanna. I wanna see what this section has. It's pro. Well, it's, it can't be anything too uh, special, but it's at this point, it's just a principle of the matter. Okay, I, sh I should be destroying these because they give XP and a lot of it. Oh! Pfft. Okay, that was lucky. Oof. Is there anything else? No, it's just, it's just, just, it's just a safety net, safety net. Yeah, one enemy. Totally worth doing the the theme for that. Do this. Oof. And we go back. And go the other way again. And go this way. And do that. So I think that was like a massive shortcut. I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah. Again, there's really not much else I can add, like, at this point, like... This is just... I, I just love this. There's some good platforming, good... Li nice little combat sections to... Like, break up the pace a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Enemies weren't close enough for me to really capitalize on that. Okay. Alright, no, I'm gonna wait. Oh, it's just that one that goes in. Don't you dare go in. Grab the pole! Ah. Uh, that sucks. Oh, that killed that guy completely, okay. Yeah, these this wizard needs to go. Okay, okay I should be using the, the triangle, like, slam to the ground move more, because getting the wizards to ground level is going to be very nice, because then I can actually hit them better. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind. You're gonna go in. Okay, be quick about it. Oh, hi. Oh, hi! Alright, we haven't done one of the, these. Good. I just flout. I, I just failed. That was just... 
That was on me. I guess we aren't. I guess we aren't doing that. Yeah, have one, one of these. Are these like swingy poles like exclusive exclusive to Chunan? Because I don't. Nice. I didn't even notice that <laughs> that pole. Um, because uh, yeah, I don't remember these poles being in other levels. So I assume they're native to Chunan. Oops. No, no, no. Let, let's get let's get the get the. Diamond XP. It's a fairly lengthy stage too. Why do I keep doing? Okay, okay. I see what's going on here. Yeah, it's probably one of my favourite uh, night ones so far. It's a good mix of platforming and uh, and beat 'em up sections, which is basically what. The werehog boils down to, so, so really good design. It's funny how like all the like extra extra night stages for Chunan are like really good. It's the main one that kind of struggles. Well, I I wouldn't say struggles. It's still a decent level, I guess, but like. All the all the other ch night Chunan stages are just way better. At least that's how I feel. Okay, that was a good level. I enjoyed it. I do not deserve that. <laughs> not even in the slightest. Good lord. I yeah, I died way too many times. Whatever floats your boat, game. Alright, what do we have next? I mean, that's the end of Chunan, I think, in, in general, so I think now we're going to... I mean, we we don't have to go anywhere. We can choose between the last few state, uh, few, few continents. Yeah, that's all done. I guess... Yeah, I'll go to Shamar first. I think that makes the most sense. We're definitely ending on Adabout because that's the last like main area before before Eggman land. So okay. So I don't really remember Shamar's stages too well. So we'll. See how this goes. Different camera view, just to be a little bit fancy. Nice mines. Oh, good. Gotta love that frame rate, or lack thereof. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they're putting a, there's a lot of just random bombs everywhere. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> hey, friends. How you doing? <clears throat> oh my, Gideon! I don't know why I'm been. I don't know why I'm saying that all of a sudden. Oof. Yeah, it doesn't help that I'm not really that familiar with this one. Okay. There <laughs> were so many dash rings, oh my god. No! Dude! Why did the light speed dash betray me so? Like, you had one job. Jump! 
and avoid the platforming section down there. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, okay. I could have done that a lot more eloquent eloquently, but sure, we'll go with that, okay. Okay, I think I need to... Actually, no, I don't need to jump. I need to jump, it's, it's fine. Oh yeah, and I remember seeing a bit of this section before. I don't need that, whatever. Oh! Okay. I don't know if you can die from being crushed in this game, but if you can, that was way too close. Damn it. Yeah. Damn it. I, I, yeah, I didn't know what to do there. Okay, and then we boost at the right time. Oh, damn it. Okay. I'm not sure if she can avoid this, because it felt like the ceiling there was higher than it is, usually is. Because usually you can just boost... Blah. Usually you can just boost up to the uh, top area and just skip this whole platforming part. Alright. Good. Oh, I'm gonna die. Alright. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, I'm doing- I'm doing fine. Damn it. Oh, jeez. Okay, you gotta be- you gotta be- Okay, cool. Whew. Oh yeah, and then this section you, like, go on top of here. Just to add a little bit of flavor, I guess. Awesome. Yeah, I want to at least get like another strength up before before we're done. Should be able to get that. <clears throat> Wait, how many do how many do we have her? Okay, only one more. Oh, okay, this is an interesting one. Um, so, there were a couple... I don't know if there, were, there was more than one, but... Um, I do remember, like, Rooftop Run Day Act 3 had, had like, a find, find Ten Chao. This is basically that, except you're exploring an open space. And, um... Yeah, this is- this ought to be interesting. <laughs> I think the Chao are usually- yeah, you- They're pretty telegraphed. Well, not telegraphed, but like, um, there- there's like, standout spots that they're hiding in. So, just take a look around, look at the scenery, and you should be able to find them. They aren't, like, hidden in like, a random, like, nowhere spot. So, this is, as long as you're looking, you should be able to find them. Well, obviously you're looking, but, um, look, like, as long as you have a keen eye, I guess, is a better way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, that camera shot made it, made this feel like a werehog stage. Yeah, this level design feels more like the, a night level than a day level, honestly. Oh, hey. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back here first. Oh. Yeah, I think this is just full rings. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually... After we're done with this area, I'm gonna actually... Go and buy, buy some more chili dogs. Because I should have a decent amount of rings again. And again, there's always, there's all pretty much always reason to get XP. Like, 
unless you just replay the same stages over and over and over again for like 10 hours, um, you're probably not going to have enough, enough XP for everything, even after doing everything, so... Like, look at this, we're almost done with the DLC and we're still not maxed out. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if this is what Sonic Frontiers ends up being like? Oh, we're, we're, I swear to god we're like never gonna know him. <laughs> we're, we're never gonna see gameplay of that game, I swear to god. Maybe, maybe soon. I'm holding out hope that we'll probably see something... I, I feel like latest we have to see something at E3 or, or around that time period because like there's no way like they, there has to be something by then if it's coming out this year as well like come on that was a lot of dramatics just to get over her I need five more One her. That one was a little bit hidden. I'll give it that. I do like this exploration stuff going on. It's pretty. It's, it's a nice cha uh, change of pace from the regular dash like a maniac kind of stages. I mean, I don't. <laughs> probably not the best phrase to use given that that's what they said to describe Sonic Forces. And, um. They wanted the, that game to basically require basically require no effort from the from the player so probably not my not the best wording on my part but still okay that's another one three more God, I am so curious about forces. Forces. Um, well, in regards to forces, I'm 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 curious about a lot a lot of the mods that people have made for it because, like, as as soon as the like as soon as one of those like stage like stage overhauls gets finished, like a full like it, as soon as like there's a full game of that, I'll probably end up buying the game on Steam because. Man, the game actually having level design is uh, crazy. <laughs> okay, there's that, that over there. Okay, that, that's just backwards, so let's just go here. Yeah, this is this feels like a night level. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I wouldn't necessarily mind level design like this in, like, Frontiers, but not for, like, the whole game. But I wouldn't mind, like, more platforming sections like this. And the last one should be over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's deal with you because... What is this camera? I can't see anything. Okay. The army is coming! Da da da. Da 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 da. Look at them. They say, like, It's the army! Yeah! Look at all of them. Did one of them just go through Sonic? Two night levels. Oh boy, okay, we, we're getting there. I pro it probably wasn't the best idea, but I I have been basically recording all all of the all of this DLC in, in one day. Um, there was a bit of a break after uh, Holoska, but yeah, I, I probably should have. I, I probably shouldn't have done it like that, but this is 
Something that I need to need to finish, like I, I just want to finish this game already and move on. Also, this is the area we glitched into. Like remember, remember, like we glitched through the door and we had went through the like this area right here. I had to do so much, shen so many shenanigans to, with the water barrels to try and get up this like platform, and I just gave up. Especially, especially after I learned that this section is just in the DLC anyway. So I'm just like, I'm. There's no point in me doing this. <laughs> so it's a little fun trick you can do, I guess. And I know you can find a, a pillar that you can like break, and um. Have it fall over like, like, like one does in a in a trailer. I'm not sure if we're gonna see that in the DLC stages here, but like that's a really cool idea. Like just like, well, it's not anything groundbreaking. Like it's pretty standard stuff, but just I don't know. Just having like a breakable pillar that you can use as a as a platform would have been really nice to have in the in the normal stage. Especially since the regular Shamar Knight has a severe lack of platforming, platforming segments. Like, there's only really the last bit at the end. And I still, I will say this, I still, I do still stand by the fact that I like how Shamar Knight prioritizes, um, like, combat. I think, yeah, I, I still stand by saying, like, I do enjoy that. But, you know, still, I think, I think there could have been a bit more platforming in that in that stage just a bit hey big guy oh, dude. okay you know what? I'm not gonna do your crap You wanna get out of the way? Yeah, this guy just doesn't care, he just kills everyone. Oh my god. No, you don't. Is there any point to going to open in that door? Oh, wait, what? Is this just extra? Oh, okay, this is just ex extra goodies. It's good. Good for me. I'll take it. Oof. Again, it's worth knowing that this music still slaps. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh! Throw box at the enemies. I can dig it. That's a fun little section. Okay, what's over here? Ooh. Yeah, that would definitely be where a medal would, would be hiding. I think, I could be wrong, but I think there is a, like an extra sun medal you can find in the in the, um, what was it? In the main stage, like the area you glitch in. I've, I'm pretty sure that you can find a random summit or hiding around somewhere. So you can just have like, 
If you want to, like, have a super maxed out, like, save file, you can have 201 out of uh, 200 sun medals, which is pretty funny. I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure there is a sun medal there. I'd, I'd have to look into it to be sure, but I remember that being the case. Okay, I think I need to, yeah, I need to throw these guys. I need, he's gonna come for me, come on. Almost there. I, I could just punch him and just tank the hits, but I'd rather not. And again, I, I, I think I think having the flying guys act as makeshift platforms instead of just swinging on them until you get to the other side just makes more sense because, again, on the Wii version, when you're swinging on on them and enemies are firing at you, you can't you can't really do much except pray to the gods. So that's kind of crap. <laughs> it, it's usually it's usually not a massive deal, but the fact that it, it's like it works like that makes it so. They can't really do many interesting things with the flying enemies. It's, ju it's basically just here's a flying dude, swing a like swing on them until you get to the other side, and that's it. And they can't really deviate too heavily from from that. They can't expand on it really. It's um, it's kind of just a thing. <laughs> Whereas in this version, like sometimes you have electric enemies flying enemies that require you to be careful with your timing um, since you aren't swinging on them for like 10 hours <laughs> you don't you don't have to worry about like not being able to dodge enemies that are shooting at you like if, the, if, if there are enemies shooting at you you have you're able to quickly move out of the way so yeah it just work it just makes more sense to make them work as like makeshift platforms you can swing on Whatever you want to call it. But these guys... Having a time. Ugh. Okay. Let's take care of you. That was close. I think this, yeah, this is probably the end. Ugh. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to be too fancy here. No. Yeah, again, don't mash X. Wait for him to wait for the shockwave to go past. Cuz otherwise you're just going to get destroyed again. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I kind of overcomplicated that fight, but it's fine. Oh, nice. L yeah, let's not kill ourselves right at the end of this. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the last level. Um, so, I think level 10 is the, uh, is the max. Or like more, well, more more specifically like level eleven, I guess, because we are on level ten. Because <laughs> there's no way it's gonna be more than that. Okay, so we got another 
Yeah, one more night stage. And I remember there being a, a, a guardian, or not guardian, but I remember there being a titan enemy, like, on a, like, pretty much just a square platform. So that would be fun. F basically, think the Empire City stage, but even smaller than that. Because there, there was a platform that just had, the, like, a square platform with a, with a tie end. And, um, yeah. Basically that, but just even crazier. Kind of wish these weird dragon enemies were in more stages. Like, they were going to be in Windmill Isle, but they got removed from it for some reason. I guess because it... Okay. I, I guess because it makes more sense for them to be in Shamar, like, exclusively, but... I don't know, like... It would be nice to have, like, a bit more enemy variety and just and not just having these guys native to Shamar. Alright. Platforming. Yeah, I, I remember this. Oh! No! Oh, good. <laughs> Alright. That was good. Jump! Okay. Oh! Oh, good god. Alright. Why did I do that? Okay. <laughs> Don't drop off. Okay. It's kind of per my life up to fate there, because I didn't know if, if it was going to actually let me reach that. Uh, you want to actually hit the bee? Or the Hornet, or whatever it is. Flying Nuisance. <laughs> That's the name of them now. And you, my good sir, are not much better. Boom. Hey, you know what? Have a barrel to the face. Or not. That works too. Whatever. Yeah, that, that move where they like shrink, they like shrink themselves is so weird. Okay. I do not need that, so whatever. Oh, it's moving. Are these moving as well? No. What's the difference when... Well, I guess we're going this way. Okay. Is a... Uh... Are we gonna have it at the pole? Okay, I was gonna say, am I stuck here? No, 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 no. Nah. Drop down. Oh, good god. <laughs> no. Oh, this is great. This is not the best angle game. Gotta be, gotta be honest. <laughs> no! Oh, how did I survive? You know what, screw this. Oh! Can't believe that worked. What, what, what was that pose? Okay, I'm gonna save my Unleashed Bar because I, I definitely want to use it for the Titan. Not for these, like, low-level mooks. Well, not low, not low-level, but compared to the Titan, yeah. Okay. 
That was a bad idea. Okay. Well, now it, now it doesn't matter. Nope. Oh, come on, dude. Bruh. Why you do this? Okay. Whew. Right, now I can go. Okay. This is a pretty cool stage, though. I like it. Um... Okay, I'm gonna wait for the- wait, no. I can just jump over here. Oh, almost messed it up, messed it up. You don't even need these poles. Just need to be careful of, like, what you're doing. Okay, I need that one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm a- You guys have fun down there. I I'm not fighting you. Dude, dude, oh, come on. I'm gonna lose all my lives at this point. I mean, there's a life right there, but I'm fine. We're not gonna be starving for lives. Dude. <laughs> Watch me regret saying that. Why am I bad? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Like, I, keep, I just keep making dumb mistakes now. Like, come on. Get head in the game. Stop failing. Okay. Whatever, that works. Those rings are tempting, but I'm not gonna bother. The game almost disagreed. I need to... No, 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 no. Somehow that worked. Nope. Okay, this is what I was talking about. And be keep in mind, there's no barrier or anything here. You can just... If you... Pretty much, if you get launched off, you're gonna die. So... Yeah. Have fun. So you're best off saving your unleashed bar for this, unless you die like me, where you can't <laughs> do it anymore. Come on, I need a little bit more, because then you'll be able to at least kill this guy fast. And this move, for whatever you do, do not get hit by that here, because you're not gonna have a good time. But the, unless you magic. Unless you're really, really lucky and like get launched into a pillar, yeah, you're you're not surviving. You're you're not surviving that attack. And that's the end. So yeah, that was a pretty cool, pretty cool level. And it ends with like, a, how was that an A? <laughs> what? I don't understand this ranking system. Okay.